Hey guys, let me tell you about probably one of the most interesting product drops I've ever seen before. MetaZoo. So you're looking at this product drop. Until today, it was $300. So some amount of people, maybe 600 people, paid a hundred or he paid $300 for what you're looking at. And then today, they dropped it. They dropped it by half. Uh, so this is a set that has two booster boxes, free promos, plus more. Now, the distributor, according to Nick Strength, which I believe him, is $70 a box. Your local game store and online sellers are trying to sell these boxes at $140 a box. Okay? A box, not two boxes, a box. So now there is a product online that for $150 from a reputable seller, obviously TCG Player is owned by eBay. So if you have product defects or missing product, I'm sure they will 100% make it okay for you. Um, this product, right, is now being sold currently on eBay for about $75 a box. And you get free promos, and you get a really nice display case, and you get a, a dice, and you know what el whatever else comes in this product. So the MetaZoo investors, the people who invested like Argos, who paid their distributor $70 a box, can no longer sell it for $70 a box because you would be an idiot to pay that when you can pay $75 free shipping and also get these really, really adorable promos, which probably have some type of value to you. It has a value bigger than zero, right? Now, in addition to um, the free promos and the two boxes, uh, I have never seen this happen. Like uh, the box price of Hello Kitty is dropping. Now, it used to be 140, then 130, then 120, then 100. The box price cannot possibly be over 75 because if you pay $75 a box, you can get some promos. So why would you not buy this object? And here's the crazy part. Uh, you guys ready for the crazy part? No one's buying it. So even at this half off price, there is not a, a market. In, there is not people buying it. Um, and this is a product that Rudy Chan has pushed on the community, right? He's saying MetaZoo to the moon. And I, I mean, I don't know what MetaZoo is doing. On In one hand, this is a really, really good way to get cheap boxes. On the other hand, it's a uh, financial disaster for game stores. So again, if you're a game store and, you know, you paid $70 a box, right? And then you are selling them to your customers at $140 a box. They're not going to be happy because for $10 more a box, they could get a second box, which is obviously really important. And they can get free promos, a dice, and a display, and then something else, right? Do you know, understand what I'm saying? Your customer base is angry. And if you didn't sell it, you're angry. So you probably are in, in the situation where you sold a few of them. You still have a few of them, and you're just boned. I mean, can you imagine the local game store? You know, they, 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 they were told, you got to sell these at $140. That's ripping the customer off at this point in time because you can buy them online for $75 with promos, right? Like, I mean, it's such a draft. We're not talking about $10 support your local game store here. We're talking about getting another box and free promos for the same price point per box. And... I don't know what this is going to do to if you're a local game store and you can carry it. I mean, you would always be afraid that at any given time. Now, let's let's be honest, right? So $70 a box from the distributor, right? You're trying to sell for $140. You probably can't get that. You probably sell it for $100. And you'd probably be happy at $100 or $90. The true value of the box, given the uh, amount of people buying the box at $75, which is not a lot of it. It's only less than $600 at this point in time should tell you that the box is going to crash even harder than 75, right? Some people will buy the boxes. Some people will buy the kit and then sell the two boxes and keep the free promos, right? I mean, that happens a lot in Magic. 
Um, I'm assuming that promo collectors, that happens in Meta Zoo as well. And some people will go ahead and they'll just, you know, keep a box, sell a box. These boxes are going to hit the marketplace. Uh, we know that there's 7,000 times 2. There's 14,000 boxes like this. And only 600 have been purchased just about right now with this, quote, sale. Um, once they hit the marketplace, $75 is high for a box. You're talking about $60, $50, $40 boxes, potentially, of Hello Kitty. You know, we talk about UFO being $20 and being a kind of an interesting deal. What about Hello Kitty at $50? Would that be interesting? I think it would be interesting. I think it goes down to $50 in almost instantaneously once these boxes hit the market. Uh, could it drop more? Could it drop to 45? Four, I mean, at 40, you really got to like use your... That's like one a dollar per pack. And it's not even at Claire's yet. I mean, Claire's... How am I going to charge... How are they going to charge like $6 or $4 or whatever they're going to charge at Claire's? I mean, God forbid... I mean, if you're Claire's, you're just like, what is this? What is going on? Why, why is no one buying the product? And then you go online and you realize the product is selling for pennies. Pennies on the dollar. I mean... At some point in time, like, you got to call it quits, man. Like, you cannot. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of that Argos guy, but he bought a shit ton of this, right? He bought a shit ton of this product. I have no idea what he's going to do with it because he bought it at 70. How the F are you going to sell it, my dude? Like, how, how are you going to sell it? You know, I mean, th there's a superior product out there at 75. Like, your margin is non-existent. But good luck, Rudy Chan fans. Good luck, because uh, that's what you get for investing in MetaZoo.